Welcome to this presentation of our 3D magnetic hull sensor TLB-493D. When the sensor was designed, it was designed with two intentions, with two purposes, low cost, high accuracy, and small physical size. And we'll see that as we go through this presentation. My name is Hector Moreno. I'm an applications engineer for Infineon Technologies. So what are the target applications for our, our 3D sensor? Industrial controls, as you can see there, a joystick, control elements for white goods, anti-tampering meters for e-meters, where people tend to apply extraneous fields, magnetic fields, to try to skew the measurement, can be detected with our 3D sensor. Or for automotive, we can use it to detect the position of the gear stick as you can see here. Many applications are possible, only limited by our imagination. Traditional solutions, uh, in the past, for example, joysticks w used to be uh, made with potentiometers, analog, an analog measurement, with a limited time expectancy because of the friction inside the uh, potentiometers. What's our solution? A single 3D sensor lower cost, much higher reliability because there's no mechanical contact, there's no contact, no physical contact between the part that you're sensing and the actual sensor. Take for example, the gear stick sensing. Currently, we use a bunch of hole switches, up to six. In fact, in an actual application, we use 12, two for redundancy, two, two for each position. As the gear shift, pivots around the fulcrum, we detect the position of the magnet and we can tell what uh, speed is the transmission on. That requires a lot of hole switches. You can see here six, but in reality it's about 12 for safety. With our solution, you can go down to two sensors. Traditional, if you want to measure true X, Y, Z measurements, it requires two sensors for XY and one for the C sensor, mean, meaning you will need a daughter board. Our solution, single 3D sensor, lower cost, higher reliability. Take a look at the package. It's in a PG TSOP6 package, very small dimensions, 2.9 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters. It fits, you can fit a lot of them in one finger. Very small physical dimensions. You can make measurements of the magnetic field strength in the linear way, or you can do it for rotational movement, such as a push, push knob, you know, turn knob where you can push it, or you can use it for a joystick movement. How can we do this? Because we're using our trench technology for the hole plate in the C direction, we can measure true X, Y signals and on top of that, we also have a temperature sensor inside that you can use it to calibrate the measure and improve the accuracy of the measurement. One of the key features of this part is the low power consumption. This part was designed to keep the power consumption as minimum. When the part is making a measurement, it's drawing 3.7 milliamps from your power supply. And when it goes to the power down mode, it's only drawing seven milliamps. So depending on how often you make the measurements, what's your update rate, that determines the, the power consumption that the part will have. You can see here, for example, in power down mode, you're only drawing seven nanoamps from the battery. Ultra low power, if your update rate is 10 hertz, it's only 10 microamps. Or you can go to the fast mode where you're always making measurements the power consumption will be 3.7 milliamps. And this is all configurable by the user. You dictate how often you want to trigger a measurement. Now, the other key feature, and this is one of the most important ones, it's a cost-optimized design. This is a new price level for magnetic 3D sensors. This part is cheaper than three hull sensors separate. So you can make a more, much more robust design with this one than having a discrete solution and at a lower cost. What are the product details? 12-bit uh, resolution, 
This means you can measure very small magnetic changes up to 150, plus or minus 150 millitesla of flux density. And more importantly, you can put the part to sleep and have it wake up only when there's been a change in the magnetic field. The interface to the microcontroller is a very known I2C uh, protocol. It's very fast and accurate, and it allows bus mode possible if you want to interface to more than one device. How do you get this device, in case you're interested? Well, we have a 3D magnetic to-go evaluation board. You can hook up this sensor to your personal computer via USB link. By downloading the software, you can make measurements within minutes with this part. The tip, as you can see, the sensor is mounted on the tip. You can tear it off, make connections, place the sensor wherever you need it, and make your magnetic measurements very quickly and very fast. The, the sensor comes with uh, a magnet or a joystick that you can order to make a very fast initial evaluation of the sensor. Infineon does offer support with simulation and selection tools. If you go to our magnetic sensors website, you click on hall switches and you open the sensor desk. What is this? This is a tool that enables you to simulate actual conditions. You plug in, you don't have to know the part number. You don't have to know the Infineon specific part number or to know our portfolio to get the right part. The tool will select the part for you, providing you an output, a simulation that includes a part recommendation and a visual representation of the simulated operation. Try it now. You can buy samples or the evaluation board at DigiKey or Mouser Electronic. Or you can visit us at www.infineon.com slash magnetic sensors for more information. Thank you for watching.